Yes, people, what is going on? So today we're gonna to be doing a 30 minute home stamina workout. So how the workout's gonna go, it's gonna consist of a 10 minute interval, followed by a minute's rest, followed by another 10 minute interval, followed by another minute's rest, and another 10 minute interval to finish off the session. So within each 10 minute interval, it's gonna consist of 10 exercises, and we're going to be working with 40 seconds and resting with 20 seconds on each exercise, but yeah. That's enough talking from me. Let's get a warm up, let's get our heart rates up, and let's get our muscles warm. So just on the bounce, just shaking everything off, getting everything nice and loose, ready for the session ahead. What you wanna do is for around 15 to 20 seconds before we move into some dynamic stretching. Shaking everything off. And the first muscle we wanna stretch is our calf muscle. So on our hands and on our balls of our feet, and we just wanna alternate in which the heel we're driving towards the grounds. Just keep driving those heels towards the ground. You should feel a nice stretch in your calf muscles. Just want to do a few of these before we go straight, uh, go into straight leg kicks. Just do a few more of these before we go back onto our feet and we do some straight leg kicks. So just kick out in front of you, not as far as you possibly can. We're still in the process of getting our muscles warm, so we don't want to overstretch before the session has even started. So just kick out in front, get a nice stretch in our hamstring muscles. Now we just want to kick across our body. Get a nice stretch in our glutes and our lower backs. Similar to straight leg kicks in front, don't try and kick out as far as you possibly can, as we don't want to overstretch before the session has even started. Now we just want to move into heel to glutes. Get a nice little stretch in our quadricep muscles. Driving those heels up towards those glutes. So get a nice stretch in our quads. Do a few more of these before we go into some lunges. So just last one. And straight into some lunges. Just a few of these. Getting that right angle between that knee and that heel joint, maintaining the neutral spine as well. Just doing a few of these. Stay in control of your body at all times. It's important for this exercise that you have good balance. Just do a few of these. A few more before we look to get our heart rates up. Last one. And that's it. So just back on the bounce again. Just shaking everything off. So I'm just gonna to count to 10, but one to five, I'm just gonna do a gentle bounce like this. And as soon as I get to five to 10, we really wanna drive those knees and arms as quickly and as high as we possibly can, especially with those knees. So as soon as I get to five, really drive those arms and legs. So let's get ready to go. I'm gonna do five sets of these. So let's get ready. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Time. Ooh, so that's the warm up done. Hopefully, your muscles should feel a little bit warm. Your heart rate should be up. You should get your fluids on board as well. And this is the period where, if you've got any tight muscles, this is the time to stretch them. So, start to incorporate some dynamic stretches on some muscles that feel tight. But yeah, let's get ready to go. Start the countdown now to 20 seconds before we get into the first exercise, which is going to be burpee. So just jump up, down to the ground, into a press up position, back up, back onto our feet and jump up again. So we wanna do that for 40 seconds. Let's get ready to go, burpees. Oh, so that's burpees done. 
Next exercise we're going to be doing is jumping jack. So, feet just around shoulder apart. So you want to jump out to the side in a wide stance with your arms out and then jump back in in line with your body. Everything should be in line straight and jump back out again into a wide stance. Just do this four seconds. Jumping jacks done. Now, next one we want to do is just in and out squats. So, just similar to jumping jacks, you want to start with a body in line, so a very tight squat, and then you want to push it out to the side and jump back in. So, continuously do that for 40 seconds. Wide squat, narrow squat, just think of it like that. Leg cool under that one. Uh, next exercise I'm going to do is just tuck jumps. So just bring your knees up towards your chest and then get a little bounce in between and bring your knees up towards your chest again. Really using your arms as momentum to bring your knees up. Let's get ready to go. Let's go. Is mountain climbs. So onto our hands into an upright plank position. So shoulders aligned with your hands, don't overreach or bend arch your back and then just drive those knees up towards our chest for 40 seconds. So. Mountain climbers done. Now I just want to do side to side squat. So start on your left side, drop your furthest hand towards the ground, you just want to shuffle side to side, and then once you get to your right side, drop your furthest hand, which should be your right hand, towards the floor, and just continue to repeat the process 40 seconds. Let's get ready to go. Time. So that side to side squat's done. 
And the next exercise we're going to do is crisscross jumps. So feet just about an old length apart. You want to bring one foot in front of the other, in front of us, so our bodies aligned. And then bring your feet back just about shoulder width apart. Then with the opposite leg, move that as your front leg. Let's get ready to go. 40 seconds, come on. That's crisscross jumps done. Now our next exercise we're going to do is just high knees. So very self-explanatory and what we've done in a similar as part of our warm-up. Really driving those arms, knees up towards our chest and really driving those arms. So 40 seconds worth of work. Let's get ready to go. Let's go. Our next exercise we're going to do is squat jumps. Hands across our chest into a squat position and then we're going to jump up into the air. So really get exploded as you come up into the air. Let's get ready to go. Absolute blow on the legs, that one. Oh. Our right, final exercise we're gonna do is two feet in and out. So two feet back and forth as quickly as you possibly can for 40 seconds. Put it in guys, nearly the first thing's all done. Come on. is the first interval done. Don't know about you guys, but I'm absolutely blown after that. So this is the time. You've actually got one minute, 20 seconds rest, so it's ready to set to finish, and then we'll have a minute rest. So yeah, that's the first interval done. Get your fluids on board. Go and do what you need to do before we start the second interval. So make sure you stretch your muscles as well. This is some static stretching on my calf muscle, because my, my calf muscles feel especially tight after doing that. But yeah, gotta get the fluids on board. The old age too high. Ah, decent. Right, 30 second countdown is now. So 30 seconds left. And we're gonna jump in straight into burpees. So let's get ready to go. 20 seconds. Come on guys. Let's have it. 
they savvy. But these, right, shake everything about, get everything nice and loose, ready to start the second interval. Whew. Come on, put it in. Let's get ready to go. go. Once again, bring your feet in and then bring your feet out. Similar to what your movement as you're going to do with your arms. Just do that for 40 seconds. Let's get ready to go. Whew. Jumping jacks done. The next exercise we'll be doing is in and out squat. So another leg burner, narrow squat to wide squat, narrow squat to wide squat. Let's get ready to go. Put it in 40 seconds. Come on. this session then I don't know what you've been doing. Ah, many times when you do is tuck jump. So once again, little bounce and then drive those knees up towards that chest. 40 seconds, use your arms as well to bring your knees up, use that extra momentum. But let's get ready to go. So. Done. And next exercise we're going to do, same again, mountain climbers. So onto our hands, hands and shoulders aligned, then bring those knees up towards that chest, maintain a neutral spine. Come on.
mountain climbers done. Next exercise I'm going to do, this side to side squats, the same again. First hand away from the body, touch the floor to the ground, and then shuffle to one side, and then do the opposite hand to touch the floor. And continuously do that for 40 seconds. Ooh, so let's get ready to go, let's go. Let's start to squats down. Over halfway now. Next exercise we're going to do is press cross jump. So, so as before, feet just press right with apart. One foot in front of the other. In front of you, in a line, and then bring it back to the tip. Just above the shoulder apart, and then you'll sit for repeat the process. So let's get ready to go. Push-push jumps done. Next exercise, and same what we've done previously. And we've done a warm up, so high knees, so really driving those arms and knees up towards the chest. Just put in as much effort as you possibly can. I know the body's going to start feeling fatigued and you'll start feeling tired, but yeah, just work hard 40 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. So that's high knees done, and the next exercise we're going to be doing is squat jumps again. So, similar squat position, jump up into the air as soon as you come up, really explode now, and work as hard as you possibly can 40 seconds. If you can't do the jump, you're struggling, just do the squats for 40 seconds. And let's get ready to go. Let's go. He's very hard on the legs. Next exercise we'll do is two feet in and out. So last time I led with my right, left leg, so this time I'm gonna lead with my right leg. So just lead with your right leg, two feet back and forth until 40 seconds is up. So last exercise of this interval, nearly there, come on guys, push it. So that's that, 
interval done, so just, just confirm it. We'll do 20 seconds rest again. So yeah, get your fluids on board, people. Get your muscles stretched that tight. There's a lot of lactic acid building up in those muscles due to fatigue and due to the load you're putting on them. So that's the end of that interval. Just confirmed there, but yeah. Get your fluids on board and let's get ready for this last one. Put it in. If you are struggling and you feel like you need to do an alternative exercise, just do something as simple as high knees. Um, but yeah, just make sure you're working throughout. Or if you really feel you can't do this last set, then just have a stretch and watch along. But yeah, get your fluids on board. Get ready to do the last interval. 30 second countdown now. So come on. First exercise, as we've done, as we started with each interval with, it's going to be burpees. So once again, jump them in the air. I need to save my energy, so you know how the burpees are done. So let's get ready to go. Shake everything about, get a little bit of stretch on. Let's get ready to go. Last interval, come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. weren't so high that for the last one as I was on the first one. <laughs> Gonna show you that so right next one we're gonna do is jumping jack so fit that wide bring it back in really narrow let's get ready to go come on last interval push it Jumping jacks done. Now next exercise we want to do is in and out squat. So narrow squat to wide squat. We need to save me energy <laughs> because this is going to be very difficult. There's a lot of load being put through the legs. But yeah, let's keep it going all the way to the end. exercise we're going to be doing is going to be tuck jumps. Don't need to show another example of this. This exercise is very demanding so uh, yeah once again use your arms to drive your knees up towards your chest as momentum and get a little bounce in between. But yeah let's get ready to go. Come on tuck jumps nearly done.
Chest tuck jumps down. Now next exercise we're going into is mountain climbers. So hands on the floor, on the balls of your feet, shoulders and hands in line and drive those knees up towards that chest. Let's get ready to go. Shuffle to the side, and then with the opposite hand, drop that to the floor because that's your first hand. And to continue to do that for 40 seconds. Let's get ready to go. Side squats done. The next exercise we're doing is crisscross jump. So we've done it previously. Feet just above shoulder apart, one foot in front of the other in the line, and bring it back to just above shoulder apart, and then we'll obviously make a repeat that process. Let's get ready to go. Cross jumps down. Now, the next exercise we're going to do, and the last exercise of this, is high knees. So, driving those knees up and then driving those arms as fast as you possibly can for 40 seconds. Let's get ready to go. 40 seconds, come on, nearly there now. Nearly there, two exercises left. Next exercise is squat jumps. In through the nose, out through the mouth, keep your breathing going. Hands across the chest, squat position, then jump up. Come on, nearly there.
jump, jump, squat, jump, stun into our last exercise, two feet in an hour. Oh. So I just done right leg, leg with my right leg last time, so now I'm gonna lead with my left leg. So two feet in and out, back and forth. Last exercise, come on, really put it in. Let's get it done. Come on, nearly there. Let's go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the workout done. So that's the 30 minute, 30 minute standard workout finished. Just waiting for it to confirm. But yeah, really good blow. I'm dripping with sweat here. Just one second. And that just confirms the workout is finished. So yeah, hopefully you guys got a lot of benefit out of that uh, workout. Uh, only 30 minutes long, but really good to keep us ticking over during this lockdown period. So this will keep us fit and sharp for when the football is called back on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions of videos, let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, bosh.